What's up, Collectio? I may have to step away for a minute because I'm trying to get some energy to get through this reading. And I'm trying to get the words to come right out of my mouth. Since hoes be in my mouth. Them hoes down south be in my mouth. These perverts, I'm doing a children's ritual to turn the clouds into rainbows. And whoever that got them kidnapped, whoever is planning on kidnapping, whoever touched them, whoever got antennas on them, whoever looked at them as the first fruits of their sacrifice to whatever demonic forces these weird bitches work with, they are fighting tooth and nail. They interested in innocent babies. They getting disinterested in men and women, so you just become an insurance policy. I don't know what the fuck these insurance companies is going to do with all this bullshit. I really don't. Like, how do they just take over that shit? <laughs> it gotta be within. It gotta be an inside out. And I'll start shooting motherfuckers in the head right away. If it was my establishment. And let the chips fall where the fuck they may. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. All this shit, I gotta keep on getting these downloads about this old weird ass shit. But people should just be through with what they through with. If they want to come back, they coming back to milk and honey and they leave milk and honey. You understand what the fuck I'm saying? This constant state of war, this back, back, forth, and forth shit that Aaliyah sang about. Because they got your motherfucking all up in your Akashic records and using your motherfucking birth chart and getting kills and, and going to kill your mama and then make sure she they get the grand babies of the grandmama or the children of the mama i mean all within y'all weird ass family it's some motherfuckers within y'all family y'all gotta understand everybody has a different dna strand everybody's dna is different so if you black you can have literally 10 siblings and all of y'all got different dna i'm talking you may have nigeria in, in your blood your brother may have Congo energy in his blood. Motherfucking sister may have Haitian in her blood. Motherfucking other brother may have Italian in his blood. Okay. If they good, honey, welcome to a diverse family. Look at you. If they ain't, it's a whole ass problem. Especially when they got a lot of African high percentage like where the fuck, why are you in America? You should literally have stayed in Africa. I'm talking 90%, like a 99.9% .9 positive motherfucking paternity test. For real. We'll have like 90 to 92% Nigerian and then like some maybe 3% Puerto Rican and the rest is like Russian or some shit. Okay, be dealing with straight up pirates. It's been a where's Waldo situation for some of y'all for a long ass time because y'all lost your original mate. If you if you left the family to cleave to your divine mate that God designed for you, leave getting lost from him could possibly make you get lost from your original family i'm talking about time after time you could literally be a person that's born of two zombie motherfuckers that was into fertility spells this shit is so bad the nation of islam talks about yakub the black scientist this is what these hoes is women the men is just warlock gatekeepers do they bidding Bucks, kidnappers, gatekeepers, same fucking shit. Mostly treacherous fucking women in your family that ain't of no relations, bad blood. That's fucking you up. Because they got access to your birth chart. Because they was all up in your mama room. Hey, cuz. Only interest is money. 
and they will kill for it. They don't give a fuck. They will find a way to justify it. They are so manipulative. It is absolutely ridiculous. So yes, it's so motherfucking bad that I really feel that these hoes kidnap my son because they do shit to see. They constantly fucking with your womb space. So they pay attention to the characteristics and traits in a child to see if it's theirs or if it's from God Almighty. Do you hear what the fuck I said? If you on top of your shit, or if they see that that child is not one of theirs, they on a mission to kill it or get it kidnapped for some other... Honey, all over the board with it, honey. All over the board with it. You ain't never asked them. You ain't never told them. And a lot of people went to religion and got stuck in religion. And if people brought them anything about look up your birth chart, look up the time you was born, it's important. You need to know this. You need to know that. You would instantly think demonic. Who do you think did that? Anybody that's telling you not to question God, honey, they are a swindler. What you mean don't ask no questions to your creator and you don't know where you're going? What do you mean not search out who you are this lifetime? Why do you live where you live? Why are you in this family? Why are you a Christian? Why are you a Muslim? Why, 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 why? Especially if you do not remember and you suffering from amnesia. This shit fucked up because of these hoes getting in divine order getting into pregnancies that was oops and it was really oops once upon a time now your oops could turn into these hoes were so off the hook with it they used to experiment with they self with their country back in the woods ass experiment with they selves and go get a motherfucking go get they they tubes tied, how they used to do it back in the day. They literally tied, and then they would do spell work to see if they could still have a baby, if they could, you know, trump the doctors. Oh, and they'd get pregnant with tied tubes. Yeah. Got addicted to this shit in the worst, weirdest way that you could ever fucking imagine. And yes, I am insulting the fuck out of Whoever the fuck you bitches is. And whatever backwoods you reside in. Whether it's in Africa or America. I do not give a fuck. The tampering is crazy, crazy. And it sends your life in a tailspin. Because if it's if it comes up that it's their spell work. Because they see the characteristics of themselves in that particular child. Oh, you fucked. You fucked. That's what you're going to call your problem child. Everybody say the same thing and then don't realize that you're saying that for a reason. It's no coincidences. People don't just say the middle child is a problem child. People just don't say, this is my problem child. People just don't use the terms black sheep and all this old shit. I'm literally doing a clouds to rainbow for children and I put a um powder like a powder form purifier just in case they got herpes or you know wherever they at in these weird ass sex capades. It's I didn't put this I didn't had to clean this candle at least three times. It's I'm not mad. It doesn't matter that they're putting it out, making it feel like like it's sludge having a hard time keeping a flame the flame is really weak so it let me know that a lot of children are suffering tremendously i made a connection it doesn't matter it's just aggravating that it can't burn in a clean way because these motherfuckers are so dirty and they want the innocence and purity of children and that's alarming it should be for everybody in any fucking body especially if you're a mother Mm-hmm. Now it's just they they they've passed down this generational curse. It's so chopped and screwed 
that they will ruin the life of somebody that's really a god a god's child a uh, oops uh not you this time this me god gotta play chess with these weird women so you got somebody right now that thinks she's mocking someone with wisdom and when she really a fool she just don't know it that's why they say god protects babies and fools because once she comes to herself and realizes that them same people are going to be the same people trying to call services on her to get it took and shipped off and sold and all this shit, if they doing it to other people and you know it, what the fuck makes you think they're not going to do it to you? And why the fuck would you follow suit in some weird shit like that? Just because it's money involved. Money comes, money goes. The soul is eternal. So that's an enemy. Some of these babies told me last night they're going to start off in they self calling death unto themselves if they find out they're under a fertility spell. If they find out they're under fertility spell and they're born into impoverished circumstances, some of these children are going to start calling death unto themselves. It don't matter their age, like under the age of 13. Let's just say that. Literally calling death unto themselves. You're going to think they was taking fentanyl. No. No, thank you is what they would say. Let them fuck around and find out is how they put it to me. Let us find out. We acquire this little fertility um, stuff and our life look like and we're coming up in a circumstance that's not favorable to us. Then we are going to call death to ourselves. We're not playing this game with these people kind of shit. Oh, yeah. Watch your ass. Mm -hmm. Gonna find them right in their house. Four years old. It don't matter. It don't matter. Let them find out. Let them find out. Let them find out that they in some trap generational curse shit about to be on welfare and vouchers for the rest of their life. Let them find out that they got restrictions and they can't cut, they can't travel the world. They all they gonna know is the city they live in. Like they got us trapped and locked in these cities in America. Let them fuck around and find out. This is going to be all their money down the tube, all their little work, all their little stupid ass shit. And shit but pirates and fools. So, yeah, y'all have to, one thing, it's going to be like sort of a twin flame past life reading because the past lives are kind of starting to resurface, to be dealt with and done away with once and for all kind of situation. It's just how I'm picking it up because it's just coming in a flurry, all this different stuff. I'm going to share with y'all, of course, my experiences on the astral plane and different things that I've seen so that you would know who your twin flame is. I'm starting to realize or recognize a pattern with men and women. Women usually find their mate or attract their mate. I'm talking twin flame, original blueprint, where business is involved. Like what you're supposed to be helping him to do. So you may have business on your mind when you're doing any type of uh, to attract them to call them in you know business is a factor it's kind of if, if he was a mouse business would be the cheese on the trap that you would use because that's that would that's what would attract him and it could be something that y'all a pack or a vow y'all made prior to coming to this dense ass reality men tend to get taken off their path because they're so goal oriented and it's routine and stuff like that. They're builders. They got to build their life. They got to get a routine. They got to set up a solid foundation. Women usually take them off of the path. And if they move them out of the range of where they were, their place of origin, their twin is somewhere where they get taken. So let's just say they were born in Ohio. They'll meet a woman that's a gen for real that'll take them to Texas. 
And say, well, how the fuck I end up in Texas? More than likely, a twin is in Texas. Or it goes like this too. Origin is Ohio. Get taken to Georgia. And then your twin is in Ohio. So you have to double back to Ohio. And you don't know why the fuck you just can't let Ohio go. Or it could go in the opposite way. You, your origin is Georgia. You come to Ohio and then you go back to Georgia and you wonder, why the fuck I can't just stop going to Georgia? I don't even enjoy it like that. Kind of situation. That's, that's keying you in. It's kind of like all things working together for the good of those who love God and, call, and are called according to his purpose. So you got to pay attention. Because it's signs, symbols, and synchronicities everywhere. In your time travels, in your dream state, in your waking state. Deja vu. Premonitions. Aha. Light bulb moments. All that shit. I feel like my origin was California because it's something where even when I go there, my name be everywhere. I've, I've been seeing too many signs, symbols, and synchronicities in the Los Angeles area. Or even if I'm outside the Los Angeles area, it feels like home to me. Me and my divine masculine, he may not even know, I wasn't on the channel or the time travel. His mother was on the time travel. He was on the time travel, and I think my godfather was on the time travel. And my godfather was like, like follow me kind of situation. So they were in a vehicle, and my godfather was in a vehicle, who was also my past, my first pastor. And he was driving. I don't. I think he was in a pickup. I don't remember what they were in. I do remember they was poor as fuck though. However, they were looking for me. It's always me as a factor, like whether somebody's trying to drug me, kidnap me. I mean, the getting lost is crazy, crazy. The getting separated is crazy, crazy across all timelines. I am not lying. You may think you are this and all that, but honey, you may not even be from where you think you're from. Originally. You get taken off your path and put in so many different places to find the original blueprint. It becomes a Where's Waldo situation, so I'm saying. And I know it's people that exist that never people never got lost, and I would love to witness that shit. They kept up with everybody. Nobody was killing nobody. No, uh-uh. Kept it tight. Them families people be scared of. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Mm-mm. Aren't ashamed of witchcraft. Aren't ashamed that they practiced that. Aren't ashamed that they was bootleggers. Aren't ashamed of none of their powers. And utilize them. And wish a motherfucker would. Kind of shit. <laughs> okay. You really got to pay attention. We was in, they was in California looking for me. But it was like they was, they was like crisscrossing the country. Trying to find out where the fuck I was at. I ain't lying. And then guess what y'all? His ex-wife, his, his daughter that I say is my daughter. And she just came through her as an Uber. She usurped his mother's energy so bad that she was on the time travel as herself and trying to come into our time travel to see what the fuck, what they was looking for. Pirate kind of shit. I'm not lying to you. So his mother came on. Two astro planes that I can remember. One, I was teaching her to, how to make this egg coffee, and she wanted to learn Reiki. And then the other one, trying to find me in California. However, the disposition was his mother. 
the body was his ex-wife that had his child. They be trying to work their way into the roots of a family when they smell money or something. I don't know. It got to be money because it's pirate energy. What do you mean, hopping? I said, what the fuck is this bitch doing in my dream space? Why is she in my dream state, hun honey kind of shit? Looking then when his mother came. I'm like, why the fuck is she acting like his mother? Then I had to understand what the fuck, how foul this bitch is and how much these hoes really be on some gin, shape-shifting, pirate, weirdo, Got high percentages of a uh, percentage of African in there, so they powers be off the hook, and you don't even know it. You looking at them like they some black girl kind of shit, honey baby. What you mean? Take her, her body, like took her body, but can't take her soul. So I will recognize her soul and say fuck the body. However, when the bitch was being herself. I knew when that bitch was like, what is you doing? You trying to change body suits and get like, just make him feel like he don't have a mother. He don't have nothing but you. Like, but it's all for money, ho. Baby, when I say weird, so when I say you got to do your homework, and if your divine masculine sent you any pictures of a female, know that that's one of the worst females that he dealing with. He just ain't articulated like that, because more than likely they got him up some type up under some type of spell where he can't articulate it, he can't talk. Same shit they be doing to tarot readers. Same shit they be doing to Joe Biden. And sometimes a man won't realize it because he's so ego driven and he's such a man and ain't no bitch gonna take my manhood, this and that, that they will make them be a mute. It don't be that they don't want to talk. It be that they can't talk. And when they do, it's short. It's short lived. He had a, he had a wicked witch one of the wickedest witches among the ones that he had, I'm like, why the fuck he would, he would screenshot their conversations and send them to me. And I'm like, damn, you talk to her, but that's what they do. They make you talk. They make you tell, they make you tell all your secrets, all the things just in the inside of your heart. They don't give a fuck. It's all just to use it. And then they be linking with their ex-wives and the bitches they got babies with. This shit is nasty as fuck. And anytime y'all see them hoes smoking hookah and blowing that smoke into the screen, them hoes are saying they want to smoke or they smoking you out. Whoever the fuck they talking to. And you want to add people on your live and shit? If a bitch smoking hookah, especially if she's from Atlanta, I do not give a fuck about you hoes. Okay? Yeah. All glove off situation. They are literally blowing that hookah smoke to say they want all the smoke. And they're going to smoke you out. Or they're going to smoke the man that's your twin that you're connected to out. Because they don't give a fuck about men no more. They don't give a fuck about nothing. They below the beast of the field. They love to lick niggas' feet, okay? They don't give a fuck. They'll kill you, 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 and you. And they prefer a baby that they can sell, find, don't get them to lick on them like a dog. All kind of weird ass motherfucking nonsense. Savagery is an understatement. See how dog and savage is going up on the food chain? Okay. So when they do that, y'all motherfucker better grab a gun, especially if you're in an open carry state. When they do that blowing that smoke in that screen or that hookah when you put them on your live, Especially if they from Atlanta, they trying to kill you like they did my nigga. You know who was what was his name? Cal Samuels. They done got rid of some smoke with that shit. It's like a smoke signal. <sighs> they don't give a fuck about you, okay? They want to make the connection to let all they COVID bitches know. That this bitch or the nigga she come with out of here. They don't give a fuck about me. That's how they think. Especially if you black. Bitch, you up there. We down here. Especially if you're an influencer. You going somewhere. You got a purpose. I ain't got shit. So my, and I still got to eat. And how this shit looking and going. 
I'm down for whatever. I'll chip a nigga for a little bit of nothing. You hear me? And I ain't talking with a gun. No, these hoes be bitch made for real. I say start following them and then see what's funny with their surveillance and ass. Flip it. You following me, bitch? I'm following you. You watching me, bitch? I'm watching you. Oh, you blowing that smoke? I got all the smoke, bitch. They do not care. They hopeless. That's what they say. So they, they, they doing real wicked ass shit. And yes, some of them could be lost and turned out and started out as God's child and allowed the world to turn them inside out and shit them out. And that's what they are. Murderers and vampires and pedophiles and weirdos and human traffickers. It don't matter where you move to. So, I mean, for real, you're going to have to fight where you go. You're going to have to fight wherever you go because it's the war of Armageddon, bitch. For real. For real. No no laugh out loud, none of that. Uh-uh. No. Ain't nothing sweet. Ain't nothing sweet. And if you know where your twin at, you better go get her and figure out where the fuck you want to be at. I did a quick little pop for somebody that I watch. And this particular person, their person is in Mexico. However, they would be great. They would get public recognition and all that. But you know how the Six of, six of Wands is? How she on that high horse? They also would knock them off of that. So they would get public recognition, make money or whatever. However, it would end up being not a good situation. If they were to reside in America, it would be Empress Energy, family, money, stars. There's so many stars in America, it doesn't matter. You get lost. Rather in a place like Mexico, where, you know, it may be a little bit more, uh, they may use a little bit more scarcity tactics and have a lot of fear. So they do shit, raunchy, terrible shit. And they've been doing it. So you can't just assume that they're going to stop in the next five fucking years. You understand what I'm saying? And their beauty... As a couple, as a twin flame couple, their beauty wouldn't allow them to really travel anywhere outside of three countries. Because they would be considered um, uh, a target because of their beauty. Yes. Just... If, if you were to take a picture and look at them as a family, they literally have to be confined to three countries this lifetime. And it would be wiser to move to America and settle than it would to live in Mexico. For some people, that ain't your story. Do you see how intricate this shit is? And he met his twin in Mexico on a passion project, is what it showed. However, she was disinterested in him because she saw him as domineering this and that when he could have been just a giver. So it's kind of like it, it, it's, it's he wouldn't have recognized her or he may think is one or another one. And she is just misreading the fact that she hates money. She hates, you know, the whole idea of gold digging and, you know, she's a woman of substance. So if you're a man with money, it irritates her. You see what I'm saying? However, what else do you have to do if you're taken out of the original blueprint as a man, but make money? It ain't nothing else to do. You try to stay a bachelor if somebody don't fucking kidnap you. Subdue you. And make you do the driving. Ain't that a bitch? I'm trying to tell you. Paint, honey, go to... Oh, cover their head. Have a child, honey. <laughs> Man, shit.
you definitely got to know what the fuck is going on. Because like I said, you could come. You could. I've been here eight lifetimes. I'm on a nine life path. So let's just say this is my ninth lifetime. For real, for real. I could have been with my original parents and not lost connection and my divine mate. Let's just say three. And then after three, motherfuckers just start acting like a fool with this switcheroo-y shit. So that would be six lifetimes where I'm lost in the sauce. Mm-hmm. Which more than likely would make me, because I miscarried on one timeline, we were slaves, and he was dealing with what Harriet Tubman husband was dealt with. But instead of it being me running, we both were running. And they caught him, and I was able to get away. And I was pregnant. And I know that I lost it. And it may have been a girl. And then my son, I may have had two. I may have had two twins. Like me and my brother were. And once you get lost, it's kind of like whatever they do with you. One girl from Texas told me that we were like Paul in the book of uh, whatever, Romans or something, when he was locked up in prison, that we was like that during them times, that we were cellmates, had us in dun a dungeon. Do you think I didn't believe her? When I know how this shit is, I'm like, oh, shit. I, listen, honey, please. <laughs> honey, baby, honey, listen. Okay? And she was on a time travel. I'm telling you, it be all there. It all be there. You just have to put it together in the right way so that, so that you don't end up wasting your time in situations that aren't leading anywhere. You end up like Aaliyah, back, back, forth, and forth, and get nowhere. Because it, it, in America, you're going to get pinned in between business or family, and people want both. But you would either get the family, you ain't hardly got no goddamn money, or you'll get the money, and the family is a whole sloppy mess, a bloody mess kind of shit if you get both you gotta be on pins and needles cause you realize that most people didn't keep up or got attacked or whatever the case may be and lost their original uh, mate and family it's crazy y'all but it's true <sighs> Mental clarity is real important. Real important. Because you could pick somebody wrong. Just like the guy I'm talking about that I did the quick pop quick pop on. He could pick the wrong one again. And be right there. Just the twin and this ain't. He getting it mixed up. More than likely, the one that ain't is a gin. Another funny business. Just making things look obscure to him and the twin. They may see him as... You know, this, when she would rather a man like this and help him to build it up. You see what I'm saying? Be totally, and when I say miserable, begin all kind of offers, whoever his twin is, can't stand it. They would consider her, the energy I was picking up would consider her like a black sheep. Can't stand superficiality. Make her sick. I'm talking like crazy. I see shit. Me and her gonna do lunch. Because I don't know people that's that where it's like, ugh, kind of situation. I'm like that. Ugh. When it comes to money and how people act about it and how it makes people think they better and they just be all crazy. It's like, ugh. Mm hmm. It's true. <laughs> yeah. And she said she had her own money. She have her own money. She don't need it. This is how she was coming across in the reading. 
Mm -hmm. I'm self-sufficient because, because yes, we were saying like vibing like, cause this day and age, if you don't have money, men ain't interested in you cause they're going to look at you like a gold digger. However, you can have a dry, the tenacity, the, the, the discipline, the wisdom to handle it and to get it. However, if you get put in certain type of situations because you're a mystic or alchemist type, like Uncle Bobby said, like Bobby Hemet, he said that once you come into a certain level of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you're gonna, your money going to go to the shitter because you're going to realize how irrelevant it is. And you're going to be disgusted by some of the findings of even, you know what I'm saying? Just that's when you learn that wisdom is better than gold. And when you think like that, that don't mean you don't want to eat. However, it ends up working against you. How are you going to manifest if you're like, ugh, even though you can make the shit, it ain't like that. It's still just, ugh. It puts you in a fucked up situation, which got all to do with them tampering, man. Bad. Bad. Mm -hmm. Need to die. For real. For real. Mm -hmm. Got y'all feeling disconnected. Don't trust yourself. Don't trust other people. Insecure. Discouraged. Lack of faith. Despair. Lack of faith. That's what I said. I told I said a lot, man. They tamper with people's good. When you tamper with people's willpower, you tamper with their faith in God. That's a that is a violation. On the highest degree. And they don't give a fuck. They're weirdos. Always looking for something. Some of them got y'all divine masculines tied up. Literally bound up. And holding y'all to themselves. Kind of weird situation. Whoever these weird ass motherfuckers is that got me itching. Scarcity tactic motherfuckers, frugal motherfuckers, addicted to money. Their idea of conserving energy is to hold on to people that they believe are their family members and shit. How the fuck you a family member and you keeping people like this and killing people and binding people up and trying to keep people out of love? You are a weird being. For real. Giving you towers. All kind of shit. These weird ass queen of wonders. And these weird ass dark witch Aquariuses. Yeah. They take ownership of certain energies that they feel like is theirs and not God's. Yes. Do this shit for routine. Okay. Literally holding on to grown ass women right now because the attributes that they put in the recipes is what this person would be. Okay. And would rather would rather have some of y'all because y'all are attached to what? Vision, money. You know how to produce. Naturally, alchemist, magician. It's not a big deal, kind of shit. You leaving the temple of me, kind of shit. Now, these motherfuckers, they real petty, honey. When I say petty, baby, pirate petty, bitch. Mm-hmm. Keeping twin flames in separation within y'all family dynamics. Mm-hmm. Turned upside down. Terrible, and they ain't my family. These motherfuckers that I know ain't shit, so I don't... Um, mean to offend anyone by calling them your family if you don't see them like I don't see them as mine. You know what I'm saying? Avoiding conflict, respecting differences, agreeing to disagree. They lying and saying they ain't doing all the shit that they doing, yet they got them loads and loads of motherfucking material throughout the annals of history of these same motherfuckers doing the same motherfucking shit time and time again. Bitch, tell it to nobody. Shut the fuck up diversity within families that's like 
I was asking my um my mom's dad, my grandfather about different um ethnicities and his children's blood. And he, he showed me this card in reverse. And it came up in reverse when I asked him. Diverse. He had a diverse bunch is what he, he said. So, you know, it could work if people could stop doing what they're doing or agree to disagree or respecting differences or avoiding conflict the right way, not the sucker way. Not when you see this motherfucker is a mass murderer for a goddamn bucket of chicken at KFC. Then it's time to pull guns out and shoot motherfuckers out of their misery. People don't do that. They just avoid conflict like, no, that's for people that actually get along. That's for people whose storyline actually worked and they stay with the origin and ain't no funny business and ain't nobody killing nobody and lying on people and doing all that slick pirate shit, you know. It ain't for everybody. Hold up, y'all. If y'all want to make a feeling, a feeling, F-I-L-L-I-N-G, a feeling meal, if you got like a family of four or something like that, four or more they can eat, they can throw down, get y'all, a lot please cover this brand, get y'all some dirty rice with, uh, in a box, that around. Get y'all some, <laughs> that will give y'all the game on this little cooking tarot portion right now. Get y'all the Zataran kind, dirty rice. Get you some ground turkey, or if you do beef, ground beef, and cut up some mushrooms in it, some bell peppers, you could do green. I did, I tend to go with chakra colors. Reds, yellows, oranges. Red, yellow, orange peppers. And some onions. Some white onions. And you're going to season. You're going to put all that together. You're going to season all that. The meat, after it gets, you know, you can you can put the vegetables on there while the meat raw. Because if you get it lean, then you're going to have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about draining it. It will soak up. And the vegetables, it'll present more water, so you're gonna have to season it good. Cause vegetables tend to um, not hold seasoning. And then you're gonna add the content of in a box after you season it 
the vegetables and the ground meat all how you want it. You're going to add the rice and the stuff that come in the saturdays. And you put a little bit of basil in there. And some parsley flakes. Some garlic powder. Some onion powder. Some Old Bay. Some Lowry's. Some adobo. Some black pepper. And some paprika. And let it cook up. You put three cups, three and a half, or three cups of water. Pour it in there on the meat and what's inside the box. And two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And back there, one bowl got me done. And I done ate like an hour or so ago. Done. One bowl. And it's so much of it. I'm like, damn, this is go hard for a family of four. They would be done. They'll go to sleep. <laughs> and you can leave it on the sofa and say, you can go get some more if you want to. More than likely. Maybe a little saucer, but they ain't going for no big old bowl unless they are a big old teenager. And even still, I'm telling you, it's filling as hell. I got that Zatarans. I said, New Orleans must be making a stretch or something. Cause the baby. <laughs> no, you niggas. <laughs> hell to the no. <laughs> Honey, baby, like what? In starvation, you said? That shit's silly as fuck. <laughs> oh, man. It's a magical people in America, man. I swear it is. They sleep on us, though, but that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, don't be touching that shit, witchcraft girls. And some of y'all said, let y'all hurry up and go get a box so they don't tamper with it. You hear me? For real, mothers. Mothers. Get there, mothers. I'm trying to tell you. You could even put a little salsa in there. That'll go hard, too. If you get the right kind, I would get mangoes and pineapples. Put a little bit in there. Not a lot. Let's give it a kick. The moon. Yeah, they think these people corny as fuck. Honey, let me tell you something. Y'all dead. I already know y'all. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. I know. I already know. Y'all want some singing bowl? <laughs> For real, this is heavy as fuck. It really is. Like, oh, you just wasting life. You just wasting on But this? You literally come lifetime after lifetime, y'all. Back, back, forth, and forth. To be in a ten of wands and a ten of swords, cause you can't find your baby. Been around the world and I, 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 I can't find my baby. I don't know when, I don't know why. Why he's gone away and I don't know where he can be. My baby. But I'm going to find him. I think Sinead O'Connor made a peace and blessings of Allah be upon her. I feel like she was cool with the fact. I'm telling you, if it's so fucked up, if you found one parent, you doing good. The original. Honey baby. I'm trying to tell you. Her son left. She followed. Uh-uh. You ain't about to be, uh-uh, what you doing? Where you going? Where you at? You got plans. Oh, don't say that. Shut your trap. This my son's son? For real, for real? This ain't no crazy shit? Oh, I'm about to go to there. I'll meet you over there in a minute. Stay over there. Stay in that underwear. I'll be right there. Kind of situation. One. 
I wouldn't give a damn if this is you and your child, honey. That's better to know that you got at least one. They kidnapped it. They took my son. That's all I got. Okay. So, I mean, the last whole raw. I'm a nigga. I don't even know who the fuck is you and where did you even come from, nigga? I do not know him. He is not a part of my original blueprint. He don't even know who the fuck he is. It'll be different if he was like this type of person. Bosky, I just keep giving me all this game. We giving it to each other for real, trying to understand what the fuck this is. If he came here and was an artist or some shit and got up out of here but left a sweet fragrance, sometimes, don't he look like he lost? Don't he look scared as fuck? Like, what am I going to do? I made it this far this lifetime. Now, where is this going to take me? Seeing as though he didn't know where his twin was at. He just now putting pieces together to lead him to his. Okay, like damn, the least you can do is leave a great body of work behind. What the fuck you mean a garbage can? What you mean a slew of dead bodies? What you mean a slew of motherfuckers hurt and backstabbed and fucked up? And you can't even remember all of the fucking people you done did this shit to. What you mean come here and fuck up Allah's earth? Who the fuck is you niggas, man? I really want to know, but I don't. And you don't even know. Because they can't handle nothing real, nothing truthful. They want these games. So as soon as you tell them the truth, instead of them allowing the truth to change them or set them free, all they do is go grab the most shit to try to kill you Hang you out to motherfucking dry and say, fuck you, basically. And throw pounds and pounds of more burdens and cl Scooby-Doo clues around your motherfucking journey, your path. I tell you, Samuel, see It's some people on earth right now that died in the 911, in the 9-11, the towers. It's some people, yeah, reincarnated right here, right now. How old would they be? It depends on when they enter the womb space. After that, you know, whenever 9-11 was, whatever year that was, It depends on when they enter the womb space. If they came right away, if they waited, it depends. Do the math on it. Man, it's so good. That's what I'm saying. It's like you wait too long. And then it's like somebody saying, surprise, how they did my mother. Pumped her up. They gonna take her on her bucket list to Paris. This and that. And then waited. She died on March 3rd or March 2nd. And her birthday March 19th. She would have been 70 on her birthday. So they wait you out. Knowing they're gonna kill you. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like saying surprise. Knowing damn well she ain't gonna make it to 70. You, go, you kill her at 69. March 2nd, she died. Her birthday right there on it. the 19th, but she couldn't make it to 70. You know what I'm saying? They just, it, 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 it makes it like that for everything. So now, yeah, you kill them. However, damn, that's like surprise. And you, you busted. What you mean I clean up the hall that you throwing me a surprise party in? Kind of shit. I don't want to. I don't want to be at this party. I'm tired. Did everybody be looking at you strange? I'm like what? Just people letting shit go.
time after time. And forgetting why they came here in the first place. Just that back, back, forth, and forth. Just that back, back, forth, and forth. And some women came to find a man, and some men came to find a woman. Again. Also, one more again. Where my woman at? Oh, there she ain't. Kind of shit. And then they be mad. Because it be plenty of people want them, but they want what they want, how they want it. Usually who's some, uh, somebody else's. Don't know where they supposed to be, don't know shit, but want to play God. That shit is weird, man. Mm, mm, mm. But money. That's what my mother's saying. Want to play God for money. It's like Monopoly. Like, What? That's the most temporal thing about being here on earth is money. <laughs> you see? Damn. Is you ain't gonna miss the trees or nothing? Damn. I mean, <laughs> it ain't sorry breaking it's fuck. Like, what the fuck, man? Ugh. Mm, mm, mm. Now, some of y'all divine feminines going to be the ones to take y'all um, divine masculine out of poverty. Fuck around. Take him in. His mama's family. Out of, I ain't lying. I'm not lying. It's time. That's how some of y'all set it up. Mm-hmm. You going to have it. <laughs> you going to have it. But for they do, because they got tricked so many different times. Like, they took the wealth of that, of y'all union. You see that? Homeless, working together. Who got it? High priest, single. No matter your sign, you got it. He working, bending it, doing that, honey, just to keep getting swindled. Leading him right back here to the Five of Pentacles. You hear me? Can't do nothing without you. Some of y'all realize that and came here to work it out in order to have the money in order to give it back to y'all divine masculine because he keep getting tricked lifetime after lifetime looking for you. Can't deal well. I'm trying to tell y'all that shit is crazy as hell. We gonna do some regions like where y'all may have been at. I, I did some, um, I cut some tabs up and put whatever kind of stood out to me. Y'all got to really pay attention. Let me tell you something. Sometimes it's shit so much in plain sight in your damn face that you could be born in Tunisia, Africa and have a twin in America named Tunisia. And you would meet her and say, where are you, where, what's your name? And she'd say, Tunisia. You say, oh, I'm from Tunisia, Africa. And then just walk away. <laughs> It'd be right there in your fucking face. Do you see what I'm saying? Sometimes it is that fucking simple. Or if your name Tanisha and you in America, you could be a native of Tanisha, Africa. That plain in your face, baby. For real. For real. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. No, ain't got to dig or nothing. Right there. Right there. Plain sight kind of shit. Illumination. Yeah. And some, some people feel like that. Like, dang, I wonder if I'm from Tanisha. Just had that thought. They're like, uh, yeah. Mm hmm Yes. Women, okay, so say for instance what I said about women in business, how y'all set it up this time. Some of y'all, I'm talking about contemplating, honey. Let me tell you something. Getting that justice for that divine masculine. You hear me? <laughs> Putting in that work work. Because <laughs> we ain't about to be broke. Uh-uh, 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 So, hey, little girl. What you doing? Where you been? What? You miss me? Get off of that. You miss me? You miss me? Ooh, ooh, you want to see how she walking. 
She's stomping with the big dogs now. Ooh, anyway. You see how girls act with a cat. A girl one. <laughs> so if you were, just say you were living in another country and you were going to another country in order for your career to take off. You were coming to that country for your twin, not your career, but you set it up that way. Mm -hmm. If you move to another country for your career on some, this is my dream, I'm living my dream, wherever you see in that dream, it don't matter if your dream is in Africa. Wherever your dream is at, and you saying you're going there in order to um, fulfill your purpose and do your business and da 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 it's connected to your person if you're a woman. You set it up that way. You may, more than likely, you may have way more gifts, even spiritual ones. That's what a high priest car feel. And a hierophant, too. You may have way more spiritual gifts where you can come up with, like you will be an ATM. You know? Because whatever it is that y'all divine masculine do, y'all had that type of um, savoir faire, I guess you can say. Intuition. Know what's going to work. Know what's not. Know what's going to make money. Know what's not. Know what people are going to be um, interested in. Know what's not. The whole point of a lot of God making the woman. <laughs> It's just got to be done in a weird kind of way because of all this tricky ass shit off. Mm-hmm. And then with the man, if the man stayed in wealth, then his twin, more than likely, he has a disdain for it. If it's a man finding her. You see? And it's still the same thing, though. I know how to, she know how to produce just like the one that's going to find her twin but using the excuse of career to get there or to go fulfill this dream. You know what I'm saying? You think you're going for the dream and you're going for the team, for real. And you may have it in your gut that you're going to meet your person there or whatever. People say you're crazy, da, 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 come against it. Well, that's of course what they do. That's why you should shh, you know, for real. On some stuff, it's not being quiet, it's moving wiser. Where, just say, if you told everybody, I'm going to Africa and fulfill it, you shouldn't have said shit. I don't want to handle a few things in Africa. I always wanted to go. And that's it. Oh, I got to handle a few things in America. I just want to go. You know, you're like this, or innocent. And it's the thing, you, you should have, you have the right to be that way. However, these motherfuckers, honey, they don't know nothing about rights. They don't know nothing about fairness, equity, peace, love, wholeness, honey. They don't know, honey. They don't know, honey. Yeah, some of y'all ended up in California. And found y'all divine mate. Went on some, yeah. I'm going to be a superstar. Or vice versa, men. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ain't that, ain't it? Where's Waldo, honey, baby? Make you question every single thing, honey. I had to ask my, I had to ask the law. Is my parents my original parents? Yes, you got that man, what? And they be like, they be like, wait, like they be waiting on like a, uh, a paternity test. <laughs> For real, I don't play around because I get dogged all the time by these weird ass kidnappers that don't want to let me go. Some weird ass motherfuckers, honey. I don't know. They see a pinnacle. They don't see me. They don't see my heart, man, and my soul. And even if they did, they more interested in like they they pedophilia with children, like my innocence kind of shit, like my naivety, bitch. This man, bitch. What you mean, covet my? sincerity cover my realness cover my nurturing spirit cover my practicality cover my fucking 
uh, ability to provide even though I'm a woman. You know, that's, they do that to the Queen of Pentacles. They really do turn you into a single mother, a working parent. And now you back out here <laughs> on a whole stroll kind of shit. Nothing that God would design, you know. And in this case, God would say checkmate, you know. Because they love this shit, man. Playing y'all cool. Creating a fucking mess. Creating towers every fucking where. With their bad ideas. You ain't right at all. And some of them are way better at the gifts that they got that come with our repentance. And they don't even use them. They would rather go pirate and cheap hustling and grinding and all this weird ass shit. Let's see y'all. I think we're going to tie it to some regions. Some places and some regions. Whether it's a state or a country. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you ain't no weird motherfucker. Flopping around. Going hookah smoking phone screens. Going on a smoke and gonna smoke you out. And you just being nice. That's why you can't be nice to people. You really can't. And if your divine mate is in a position of power this particular lifetime and you are not, why the fuck would you opt to stay down by nothing so that you can feel at home or feel liked or whatever the fuck from wherever the fuck you were born at? Some people were born in some harsh-ass cities, harsh-ass countries, harsh-ass states, whatever the case may be. Why would you opt to downgrade to be accepted by people that really didn't like you in the first place than to rise to the occasion and go where the money resides, where the money resides? Can't this shit, man. You gotta be crazy. You gotta be running so fast, man. The bank showed up, too. <laughs> What I said, yeah, where the money resides, where the money resides, honey. Now it's in children, you know. Watch y'all children in these schools. Y'all got y'all spray? I'm trying to tell y'all people, honey. Let me tell y'all, honey. Y'all put them in here? Good, good, good. What y'all want to know? Where y'all got lost or where y'all met? Where y'all got lost? Some people where you got lost and where you met. Some people where you got lost and where you met. The first, the first meeting and the first separation. Where they may be now. You know what I'm saying? You got a feeling. They all in there. I got a feeling. I don't know. Why the fuck I all It's something about. This how I go. I don't know why the fuck, even in school, girl. I just was so interested in Denmark. Why is I'm so interested in Denmark? Girl, I, I had a thing for Amsterdam. All the t-shirts I would buy would say Amsterdam. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. It'll be right there. You'll be wearing it. You'll be intrigued about it. When you see it, it's certain words you don't like. That's for a reason. It's certain words that you like. It's certain country names that you say, I like that name. I don't know why I like that name Zambia. I don't know why I like that name Tanzania. You see what I'm saying? And then you will say, I cannot stand that name Venezuela. You see what I'm saying? Or you may say, I, I love that name Venezuela. But it's something about Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. This is where people get taboos at. And they do not fuck with you if they got that kind of tab. My my Reiki teacher who gave me got me my gave me my certs. 
She don't fuck around. That's the taboo queen, bitch. Like, no. Like, also, I don't fuck with people that wear green shoes. For real. And it be tied to some past life shit where that motherfucking bitch that did some shit to you used to wear green shoes. Do you hear what the fuck I'm saying? Because you already know. It's some bullshit. Oh, hell no. Even if it, it could be the same bitch. Or same archetype. Honey, let me tell you something. When I say gotta stay on your P's and Q's around this bitch. Honey, baby. Some of y'all been lost in slavery. Got separated during slavery and been lost ever since. Yes. Yes, 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 And sometimes you end up just communicating. That's really what time travel is for. That's what uh, astral planning is for. That's what mental telepathy is for. Also, GPS, where you at? Sending out signal, Batman, bitch. Kind of shit. For real. Where you at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Before they kill me again at the gym, Candice. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, fucking zoo indeed. I sage this deck, so. They tend to just jump in decks. You're like, bitch, I'm not asking you. It just come up the devil now. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? Like, no, bitch. I was not talking to you. Some of y'all met them in simple places. Gym, supermarket. River. Flowing waters, river, bank views. River. This is separation like a motherfucker, ain't it? River. I don't know. A region might connect to that, y'all. Y'all got money. Y'all came from wealth. Some of y'all really wealthy people. Post office, mail delivery, written correspondence, package tracking. What? Oh, no. They didn't separate some of y'all and then start doing the mist or taking the mail. I done fixed that mailbox so I can tell if it's done been messed with. Kind of shit. Ooh, honey, let me tell you something. Some of y'all met y'all person. Y'all both worked here, post office, or met him at the post office. Mm -hmm. Honey, baby. Mm hmm. This lifetime. Countryside, rural beauty, peaceful retreat, simple living. Like, how the fuck do you get separated? So some of y'all got killed. Possibly as a couple. Simple living though. Peaceful people. Rural area countryside. Like what you mean? Just come up in a countryside area and start killing us. <laughs> y'all, I cannot. And it's just two glasses. Y'all could have had a winery or something. Some of y'all may have met at a winery this time. That's two people. That's just two. And cemetery up next? Damn. Here we go. Shopping mall. Shopping mall. Yeah, I guess separating a fucking shopping mall too. It's like, damn. <laughs> For real. Like, what? How long shopping mall has been around? For real. I 
Because I'm telling y'all, that mall I walked through where they got my son kidnapped at in Richmond Heights, Ohio. Honey, that mall, Richmond Mall. But like, I instantly used to go into a time travel. Excuse me. I used to instantly go into a time travel. And that's the mall I went to when I say everything be everything. And that's the mall I went to to go get stuff to go to my mother's funeral. I had got my baby a gold grill from that mall. We had got some gold grills made, some real gold grills. They was dope too. And then we had went and we had went and just to get some accessories like earrings to match my outfit, what I was gonna wear, or fan, just fan something. That mall, honey, struggling, struggling. They ain't know it. Ain't nobody know shit. Honey, I don't be talking to people because people be judging. They wanna call you crazy and all this other weird shit. Honey, bitch, I'm trying to find out where the fuck I'm supposed to be at. I don't know about all that other shit you looking at and on and, you know what I'm saying, critiquing and this and that because you sleep in a motherfucker. I'm not sleep. I realize that I'm going into a time travel being in this fucking mall. Why this mall? What's up with malls? Kind of shit. And why does this place feel weird? Be looking up at the ceiling. What the fuck is this? Kind of shit. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. They could have took me and put me somewhere in a fucking room somewhere. Or tried to this time. Because I stayed in shopping malls this time. Stayed in them bitches. I ain't lying. From childhood all the way to... I got sick of that shit. For real, for real. Lake. Some of y'all was by rivers. Some of y'all was by lakes. Some of y'all could have been in Ohio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Died. Mm-hmm. Got lost in the shopping mall. Mm-hmm. Shopping mall's been around for a little bit. Now. Yeah. And it don't have to. It doesn't have to necessarily go, like I said, three lifetimes. It don't necessarily have to be back to back to back. No. It could be you get lost. Get found, get lost again, get found, get lost again. You see what I'm saying? That part. <sighs> Should be like, what a tangle way up they weave. Like a motherfucker. You be like, man. <laughs> For real. Like, what the fuck? Some of y'all, a lake, lake. Important lakes is where you're at, where you could have met at, where there's important lakes, like popular lakes. <clears throat> researchers avid researchers just bothering people honey some of y'all met at the library this time <sighs> bothering the fuck out of people some of y'all may have been some of the twins that jumped <laughs> For real, during the transatlantic slave trade? Mm-hmm. Under the sea. Under the sea. Yes. Y'all got oceans. No, y'all got, yeah, y'all got oceans, seas, lakes, and rivers. Y'all buy bodies of water. Important to be the Nile River, Euphrates River, Great Lakes. You know, Atlantic, Pacific, which one is it? Arctic, Gulf. Y'all are, um, yeah, it feel like home. It's something that's familiar, bro. It's something that sits out that you like, and then the stuff that you don't, something possibly could have happened to you there. You know, if y'all just say you died in Ohio, you may not like Ohio for that reason, and you just came back here because it's where you died. Kind of picking up where you left off kind of situation. If two died, then, you know, pick up where we left off. Comfort, familiarity, security, belonging, personal space. Feel like home. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. The mall used to feel like home. Oh, honey, let me tell you something. To my mama and me. 
you know, telling and try to get us lost in that motherfucker so they can kidnap me again. They tried to take me from the hospital this time. When I was to bag the artifacts and exhibits. And it was popular in the 70s. Mm-hmm. That lifetime movie shit. It sure was. They used to have this like had to had the police stand by when they get all the babies get put in the room like that. They try to get me out of there. Where it's a glass and you can look in. Yeah, I found a lady like really trying to take me. Caught her me in right in the act. What you doing? Where you at? Oh, you got plans. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> shit. Like, what the fuck? Kind of shit. I be looking in the mirror like, damn, I know it's other motherfuckers that they, you know what I'm saying? Y'all may go through the same thing. People just don't talk about it. They're like, who, the, who am I? Can this shit? The girls them look. <laughs> I and I. Museum, artifacts and exhibits, interactive displays. It's so much energy in museums. Y'all may have. Y'all may have um, met in a museum or got energy in a museum, especially if something stands out to you. You know, you go like the little figure that stood out to me. He may have been like a little Guyanese gnome because that's what the fuck he looked like. I was like, this motherfucker real. Mm-hmm. Fuck around. It could have been Bosky out. I ain't lying. Because their energy is the same. I was burning his candle one day. And that uh, figure that I seen in the museum in, in case. At the Cleveland Art Museum. Honey baby. I'm like. Why am I picking up. Meaty cheesy. Meaty cheesy. Because the figure. The, oh man. Whoever created this little thing man. I'm like. What the fuck. Is this a real person. Who the fuck crafted this. Like, I was so, like, I'm like, uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? Some stuff just be drawing you in, and you can't get off of it. You're like, how the fuck do I buy this? Even though you figure it, like, this shit probably a million motherfucking dollars a guy. Damn. What do you want? Who are you? It was a little man like this big, just like this store. About the same size, y'all. If not, maybe a little bit taller, but I don't feel like he was. And he was like an artist. But it was an African looking uh, figure. It was, no, it looked like human. It was human. They crafted it, man. I don't know how the fuck, even to the, the teeth. Like, it seemed like, <laughs> y'all, I ain't lying. You know how people got spaces in between their teeth? Like, they did that in them. He was so detailed. He even had a little scarf on. I'm like, what the fuck? Somebody else, my friend, went with me. He, bear, he can bear a witness. I'm like, man, it's this dude, bro. And possibly could be right here jumping in motherfucking shit in museums, trying to figure out where my art at. You know what I mean? Oh, candy shit, man. <laughs> Say night at the museum, honey. Baby, listen. <laughs> It make life real interesting. And then, I think I did, didn't I? I did. I think I did. I think I went. Did I go there? Did, yeah, man. I had to. I had already went there. I had went to the Basquiat. I had went to the Basquiat exhibit at the Cleveland Museum of Arts. And I was doing bracelets. That's when I started doing uh, manifestation bracelets. And guess what, y'all? I had filled these glass tubes up and I would put them on a bracelet. And they would hang like this. And I had California sand, real California sand, in them to attract luck and to help with the alchemy because the weather be so crazy. It was real cold in Ohio. It was fucked up. Just a fucked up winter. And I was like, we need some California energy here. Like, this is crazy. So, people used to go. I went before. I don't know. I might have got some myself. And then when people went, they would bring me some back. So, I think I got some myself. I did. And one of the people, the girl who invited me, she said, Girl, why my, why my um, charm fell off? 
when I was in the bathroom at the museum. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's real good. <laughs> I was like, that's real good. So you ain't fancy? Oh, that's real good. And mine kept falling off. Kept falling off. Kept falling off. Plus, yeah, honey, baby, up in that art museum trying to see where his shit at. He know they had a thing here. And more than likely, could have found it. Could have found it. Because this is how stuff be going. Ain't no coincidences. Like, why the fuck? Yeah. Birthplace of dreams. Pursuit of goals. Belief in possibilities. Exactly what America is about for real. Birthplace of dreams and the earth for real. The world. She's just a sign. A symbol that you should never stop pursuing your dreams and you should never stop looking for your original family and never stop looking for what would make your life be epic for real. What would make it sparkle for real. None of motherfucking fake glitter and all that funny business. Kind of shit. Honey, was it the incense? Listen. Boss, y'all funny as hell. I'm trying to tell you. He was lit. He was just lit, 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 lit. And I'm like, why in the fuck am I going transcendental and feeling like you are that little figure in that case <laughs> in the click of the museum? And, you know, one thing be leading to another, especially if you leave in clues. You know what I'm saying? They able to see if he here, if, he's, if his name here, he here. What you mean? Oh, they gonna keep up? Oh, yeah. Especially, it's no different than I said, if you have one parent, if you have an impact, then you're gonna attach yourself to that impact because that's a part of building the wealth as a man. If you gotta come back again, I'm not about to be, keep on. <laughs> Being broke, ain't got shit. Like, no. I'm trying to keep hold on to the dream. You know what I'm saying? By any means necessary kind of shit. And one thing be leading to another. Yeah, he made, yeah. He said he, yeah. Following me to the library. Going to the library all the time for my son. That's where our visits was at. They'll follow you wherever when they know that you got sense and you're connecting. And that you're, you're not just doing stuff to do stuff, but you understand the connection between all things. <clears throat> mm-hmm. He be on the roof because I got him in my room where I'm sleeping at and then down here too. Sometimes if he want to, however, they don't, they don't have to be, you know, he's not stuck on here. He's just interested in me and I'm interested in him. It's, it's intrigue. That's what whoever you work with, you got to be real and honest and not a fucking dweeb or doing it for reasons that's just beneficial to you. And not beneficial to the whole. Like be able to empathize with somebody because you understand. That's how you build bonds with ancestors for real. Some of y'all met y'all person in a supermarket. Bank keep coming up. Yeah, y'all got money to pull. That ain't shit. Public services, administration, agencies, government. That's got something to do with the White House. Let's see. School. Y'all got broke up in school because it was like government mandated for y'all to take y'all child or whatever or for y'all to go to school. It got y'all from school. Their mandates fucked a lot of people. Got a lot of people kidnapped. Uh-huh. For ransom. Yup. In America. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's quiet. They keep it quiet. However, it be going down. Okay? See it in a movie kind of shit. Huh. Church. That's real. Religion split up a lot of people. Yep. This gym keep coming up. Y'all met somebody in the gym. In the perilous realm, y'all better bet the gym. 
<laughs> you all know this is the fearless realm. Hell no. Supermarket keep coming up. But then some of y'all may not. See, here's the thing. Did y'all? I met somebody in the supermarket. My friend that I went to the Cleveland Art Museum. And he just wanted to take me out on a date. And I went. And he was like, look, girl. I ain't here to be your friend kind of shit. <laughs> I ain't here to be your boyfriend. We just about to have a good time. And that's just what we did. And it was the end. And he went his way. And I went mine. So you got to know. You really do. I feel like some of y'all, I feel like y'all met somebody, but you're not sure. You got to be sure. That perilous realm showed up for a reason. If it fell off, it is off. If it felt like home, it is home. If it felt like it's just a vibe, then it's just what it is. Don't try to make it what it's not. Don't try to take away from what it is. You know what I'm saying? Within the vehicle. <sighs> Somebody kidnapped y'all. Put y'all in a car. At the supermarket. Some of y'all children got separated from y'all like that. Yeah. Kidnapped from the damn supermarket sitting in the car. This shit crazy. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all met y'all divine masculine in a parking lot at the supermarket sitting in your car. Or vice versa. Swimming pool. Unbathing. I'm um, unbathing. What the fuck? Sunbathing. Why I see unbathing and not sunbathing? Sunbathing and tanning, pool games and fun pool parties. Unbathing. This remind me of Dorothy Dandridge when they told her to get out of the pool. You know, something may have happened with that. Like y'all was somewhere and felt like y'all was cool and they told you to get out of the pool and then the next thing you know, a whole situation ensued. Because it came right up on next to cemetery. What a tragic ass shit. Just minding your business. And all of a sudden, it sends, it sends when people take your life unlawfully and unjustly it sends you in a tailspin and when they take you from places that you ain't got no business putting their hands on you that shit man and they kill people off and they ugh 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 what I know you lying do some of y'all feel like y'all was decapitated like an elevator decapitation because <laughs> they making me focus in on their heads looking like they possibly Ooh. some of y'all have premonitions you be on elevator you scared they understand like I feel like I died on the elevator <laughs> that shit be real bitch for real the hell oh god and you all on there together Kind of shit. What the fuck? That be that spell work though. You hear me? Honey, death spell jaw. <sighs> I'm hearing some of y'all was shipped over in a vehicle. <laughs> Like, want to see a dead body kind of shit? What? Like, y'all was prepared to move somewhere, and then y'all moved y'all car. They had to be shipped, and they put, they killed you before you could go to your destination, and your body was found within a vehicle that you was having shipped to where you were moving. Yes. <laughs> Man, shit. That past life regression ain't shit but triggers. And them triggers, that's why I say rise above it. Rise above them triggers. All the answers is in the triggers, just like all the medicine is in the shadows. Shit you don't like, shit you do like. That word triggers me. I don't like that word. I love that word. I don't like parks. Parks make me. My mother hated water, and she was a Pisces. She couldn't be by it. My father taught her how to drive by having his his friend pick him up from the lake. 
he got tired of ripping and running her to the mall and stuff. So she couldn't drive. And he said, well, if you want to get home, you're going to have to drive, Poopsie. Because, you know, she's scared of water. So she she did. She learned how to drive. Because he left her. He told his friend to come, oh, I'm going to go get home. He said, you're going to drive the car. <laughs> I can't do this. There go that lake. You scared? What you going to do? You going to stay here? Because she felt like the water beckoned her. More than likely, drown, somebody drowned or killed her. Honey, listen. She couldn't stand it. That's why I made sure my son knew how to swim. Even if I hadn't got there yet, I made sure my baby knew how to swim. Hotel. Hotel. Got separated at a hotel at the swimming pool. Show me this shit recent for some of y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. It's terrible. Food poison. Y'all don't like eating people food because of that? It's a trigger. You were poisoned. Somebody was poisoned to death from somebody's food. So some of y'all may be funny about eating other people's food for that reason. The kitchen came up in reverse. So like, I ain't fucking with nobody's kitchen. I ain't got nothing to do with their cat, bitch. I just don't fuck with people's food. Bitch. Honey, y'all don't be kind of shit. Yeah, man. Jail. Oh man, oh man. Oh. Some of y'all met y'all person in the gym, honey. Yes, that's your person. Shit, honey. Some people got pinned with a crime that they didn't commit. Put it on y'all divine mate. Mm-hmm. That's how it causes separation. And that's how you could get lost too. Because it'll be a breakdown of communication. If somebody died within a vehicle, some of y'all did. It happened. It could be going on right now. Who the fuck knows? You know? And sometimes it happened to other people, too. The same fucking way. Just different, you know what I'm saying, places you shipping it to, whatever, whatever. But shipping a car, get killed before you get there. Stuff your body in a car that is being wherever you shipping your car to. Somehow get you in a car. Get you in your car while you're shipping it somewhere. Put your body in the car that you're having shipped somewhere. Like they knew you were moving. They knew you were doing this. You see what I'm saying? And then pinned it on y'all divine maid. I'm feeling like pinned it on a man. Like a woman it happened to and they pinned it on a man. A lot of scenarios is, is what I'm picking up. That y'all divine masculines were accused of being your um, murderer. And it wasn't true. Could have even said they poisoned you. You know what I'm saying? It could be that too. Like the kitchen came up in reverse. A divine masculine could have got poisoned and they blamed your twin. And now you have a problem trusting your twin to cook for you. Kind of shit. They may not even know. It's a trigger. It's something to that. I'm telling you, you got to unravel the mysteries. You have so much clarity and be like, oh my God, I ain't tripping. Airport came up. Uh, airport near the hotel. Yeah, took from a hotel near an airport. Or got took from an airport near a hotel, either way. The airport lounge. Like the airport or airport bars or something. Like a poison, somebody poison your food or your drink or something. <sighs> I'm trying to tell you, I'll fuck you too. We about to get to these regions. We'll pop two more after this one. Slavery. Mm-hmm. A lot of y'all. And it may have gotten back and then lost again. Like I said, it's like a weaving, like a like a weaving. In out, in out, like that. Like fine, lost, lost, fine, lost. You see? <sighs> time after time. There is no separation, but damn. The actual separation. Bitch. I'm trying to tell y'all. 
Does some of y'all have a problem with triggers in a parking lot? Get sad in a parking lot? This, there you go. Come on, why would you keep getting sad in a parking lot? Something happened in a parking lot. Somebody got killed in a parking lot. Somebody's body got found in a car in a parking lot. Something with parking lots that caused y'all to be triggered as fuck. Past life or this life? Honey, baby, let me tell you something. Bustling hub. Well, of course, that's typical. That's why you got to be careful. Children, I heard. Lost children in a bustling hub. And it's slavery. Family separated. Shit off. Dense canopy nature sanctuary forest. In a forest. These hoes need to be let out in a fucking forest. I've been saying that shit. Some of y'all ended up getting lost in a forest. Could have been hiking. Could have just been in a forest. In nature. You know? It's not odd to want to just, you know, let's go to the forest, man. It kind of shit. Of course kidnapped or of course starved out or some shit like that. Ugh. Just weird ass scenarios. Come on, make me do three more. And don't go where you would just think the harshest thing that happened to you as far as the race that resides in your blood. The worst thing that happened to, let's just say if you're Russian, the worst thing that happened to Russians. Don't stay there because that shit will, that's where they be wanting your ass to stay. Hell no. Hey, honey, let me tell you something. Don't stay in no slavery situation. Don't stay in no um, Great Depression situation. Whatever happened that was um, that's kind of locked, even on a Holocaust, things that are locked in your DNA seemingly. Honey, listen, honey. It's like giving them the knife to cut your throat. Because you just fixated on that and you're not paying attention to all the goddamn weirdos that's in your bloodline wrecking havoc on your entire existence and the existence of your children and all of your points of origin, all your your original parents, you know what I'm saying? You just come back looking similar or looking completely different. However, it's the same soul. Eternal. I knew this was going to come up. Financial center. Y'all have money. Mm-hmm. That's what he's saying. Some of y'all was on the stock market and slavery like that. You know, the auction. Don't get obsessed with this shit, though. Because you got plenty of people that look like you kicking your motherfucking ass right now. And like I said, honey, some of our ancestors prayed that they get a white slave master and not a black one. Because the black ones was way more wicked and mean-spirited. Okay? Elevation and perspective. Yeah, good. Yeah, get out of there, honey. Get out of there, honey. This parking lot again? Yeah, man. If that's a trigger for you, then there's something that has to be unraveled. If it's somebody that died this time, then you need to be communicating with that person. For real. They, yeah, come up again. Somebody got killed in a parking lot. You got to make peace with it, especially if it wasn't your twin. That's why I say you got to know, because sometimes it's, it's something that has to be finished and the cords have to be cut on it and the karma has to be cleared on it. It has to have a finality to it so that you can move on into your twin flame union without this particular energy, you know, triggering heartbreak and pain every time you go near a parking lot. <laughs> like, what? And it may not be your twin. It may just be somebody, if it happened this lifetime, and if it is your twin, you really need to see what's up and really stay connected so that you're able to meet once you cross over. You don't want to lose people. That's, oh, man. 
Honestly, if I don't get all of this, this family to come together, that's my original family. I know my parents and all that. I'm talking about divine masculine and all that. And my son and all I, I know I'm not I'm done with this place, man. I don't give a damn, man. Listen, this is ridiculous. Forest cabin, secluded retreat, cozy fireplace, remote getaway. They took some of y'all here. Kidnapped you and took you here to a remote getaway. Some of y'all... I'm telling you, everything be everything. If you don't like this kind of shit, it's a reason, bitch. I don't like the cabins. I feel like, I don't know. I don't like being secluded. I need to be where I can see the police. Can and shit. Honey, baby, ain't nothing wrong with you. Something happened to your ass and you going through past life regression symptoms like a motherfucker. And that's where you need to dig a little deeper. That's the beauty of having your mate. If you're with your twin flame, that's stuff to do. You can uncover so much like... You won't feel what's what's wrong with you. <laughs> Kevin's shit like uh, I'm feeling kinda woozy. I don't think I wanna do this kind of shit. Especially if it's raining and shit. And it was kinda like a, a drag and shit. I'm trying to tell you. Cause that came up on Heart Heartbreak Place. Oh, Camp Crystal Lake kind of vibes. Ooh. Moisture abounds, wet serenity, drizzle delight. Oh my god, I may have gotten y'all high on mushrooms or something. And took straight advantage of a situation. That's why you got to be careful. Did y'all see that girl that stabbed that man 180 times? He gave her some weed. He put him in it and she flipped on his ass. Oh well, don't try to blame marijuana. And they putting that, if it's fitting all in it, they doing it. It ain't from no government. It ain't from no Jamaican. It ain't from no um, dispensary. No. 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 It's not. They be lying. For real. Bad. Hospital. Some of y'all triggered by hospital, something happened. Mental hospital, something happened. Some of y'all died on an operating table. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all mothers died on an operating table while having you. Or may have, yeah, died. Yeah, while having you. Yeah. Yeah, it, that's that tricky shit. That's that tricky shit. Then somebody stole somebody and pretended they was your mama and killed your original mama. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. For real. Some people died in childbirth. Some people lost their twin bearing, their twin bearing their children. Okay. So people like that, if your twin died while having your child or something like that, don't let go of it. These are your original children. You better make sure them are your original children, first of all. And there's ways that you can find that out. You got to pay attention. Not in a weirdo way. However, in an observatory way where you'll know, okay, those traits, those characteristics, and things, try the spirit by the spirit on a regular basis, okay? And then you got to build an altar for your twin so that you're able to keep that line of communication going. So you will know where you're going to be at on a mountaintop or at a lighthouse kind of situation. Ain't that something? And you see how much responsibility you have as a human being? And people be around here, honey, playing zoo animal, lower than the beach of the field, though. Yeah, that's what Allah want me to share with y'all. It's not the fact that you're a person is special, it's or that a person doesn't drink or doesn't smoke. It has nothing to do with it. Allah looks for a clean mind, a pure mind, a pure body. And a pure soul. Okay? No, not a body. Excuse me, Allah. No. That's people's problem. That's what he wanted me to say. A clear mind, a clean mind, a pure mind, a clean heart, a pure heart, a clean and a clean soul. Mind, heart, soul. That's what's considered clean. Not the fact that you're a vegan and don't smoke weed or cigarettes. No. 
Is your mind clean? Can he dwell there? Or do you got a bunch of noise up there and a bunch of weird shit about you being jealous of this person or envy of this person or you want this and you got to complain all the time going on? Is your heart, is your mind clean? Is your heart clean? You don't have hate towards no man. You don't want nothing bad to happen to nobody. And it's real. It ain't no bullshit. You ain't had nothing. You ain't covering up nothing. You ain't got no enmity. You ain't got no envy. You ain't got none of that. And is your soul straight? Clean. Do you know where it's at? Is it intact? Are you in tune? Are you a whole being? Never mind what you ate for breakfast. <laughs> for real people want me to bridge bridge the understanding because people be like I'm like what what do that got to do with it that's temporal temple is temporal as far as the body is concerned bench yeah some of y'all some of y'all been benched he said that's funny <laughs> Y'all need to be more reflective and quit retracting. Because when you really pause and ponder or pause and reflect, and if you hear, you can tune in sitting at a bench where you currently reside at, of course, you know, watch for weirdos. However, it, it'll, it'll, it'll key you in. It'll feel like a strange land or it'll feel familiar. It'll feel like home or it'll feel like, what the fuck am I doing here? If you were to be honest, rather than jumping off of this, and I'm not one to be like, listen, stay alive as long as possible and don't be talking that stupid suicide because you know you're going to hell. I ain't never the one to be talking about that because you got to be a, a one hell of a God to call that to yourself, handle it, and be on the other side still helping God, Okay or jump or whatever. However, sometimes it's just understanding. Closing the gap so that you can see things from a different perspective. And this, even this will trigger you. I had, um, we have went to, where did we go? Um, Niagara Falls, I guess you could say. And we had to go over this hill that was really steep and it was nothing but water oh I couldn't do it I had to have my eyes closed the whole time I had I was it was terrible and it was long and my first my first husband was laughing I was like but he could swim his father dropped him in water when he was a baby Native American he learned to swim damn near right out the womb his father just dumped him in a lake not a pool and he had to learn how to switch to the top by himself. That's the Native American way. <laughs> so he was laughing. I wasn't because I don't know how to swim. Okay. And I don't know what happened to me. So many tragic things, honey. And I just was like, honey, listen. I was like, Elvis, I'm all shook up. Uh -huh, kind of shit. I just had to close my eyes. And it seemed like the longest fucking drive ever y'all see how that shit steep like that like is is that hump like that okay damn near like this just put it going straight up like a fucking roller coaster over all that water <sighs> baby i was like oh hell no <laughs> that's a sign though that's a sign and even if you could get it you get into what you used to do like music like some of y'all was in the flowers, gardening, stuff like that. Why you love it? It's a reason for that. Some of y'all may have owned taverns. Don't know why. Oh, laboratory. Some of y'all were researchers, avid researchers or scientists. Tavern came up. Some of y'all taverns. Don't know why you want to become a mixologist. Don't know why I like bars kind of shit. And it may be you, if you can't find your person or you found them and y'all back in separation, it could possibly be that y'all own the tavern. Something simple like that. I'm telling you, sometimes the writing be right there on the fucking wall. And you be ignoring it. Or just thinking it's a co-winky dink. No, 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 we don't fuck with them coincidences, I mean. Uh-uh. Oh, no. Look, y'all, I made a whole bunch of tabs. <laughs> Come around real good. 
and see where some of y'all point of origin may be. And if I say it, and you like, man, I always wanted to go there. And I don't know bullshit on no Disneyland shit, no. Awesome, man. I don't know why I think about Denmark kind of shit. And depending on where you at, you know? Texas. Italy. Miami, Florida. North Carolina. Phoenix, Arizona. Queens, New York. Virginia. I'm getting chills. Damn, Phoenix again, y'all. That's a that's because I said, damn, why am I? Oh, somebody threw that like that. Somebody said, I told you. Hell no. <laughs> somebody in Palestine took about I told you I'm supposed to be in Phoenix. <laughs> it be like that, don't it? I'm trying to tell you. You listen, listen, let me tell you how crazy that shit is. Let me tell you how crazy this shit is. It be like this. I'm trying to tell y'all. The letters, even. You would think you getting it in, finding somebody, or you go, oh, you got your little plan, and it could be the letters, and you end up in Palestine and was supposed to be in Phoenix. This lifetime. Just from the P's, the E's, the N. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. They chop and screw you so bad. And the amount of work you got to do in order to find out your point of origin and where you're supposed to be, man. Definitely illegal as fuck if it ain't, honey, baby. Call the coroner, you hear me? UK. The UK. Denver. Boston. Finland. Finland. Somebody like that? Pisces? Fins and shit? Want to be on land, though? Virgo? Could have been a mermaid? Honey, let me tell you something. Get into it. Alaska. Because what I've seen is fin and then land. And somebody's, like, confused. Like, either Pisces or Virgo. I was trying to figure out. Inland. I was inland. Oh, what's that in Finland? Get <laughs> shit. Y'all got all these bodies of water. Like Moses. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all one left on the river bank, was you? And put in a little picnic basket. I cannot. Hoo-wee. Baby. Texas again. Houston, Texas. Houston. In, in particular, like, yeah, it's in particularly. Black people say in particular, in particular. I am, not I in, and then particular. No, we put it all together. In particular. New Hampshire. That's different, huh? Columbus, Ohio. Ooh, somebody know that? <laughs> Or somebody asking, what the fuck am I doing in Columbus? You know, for real. For some reason, I feel like people that are in Columbus and may feel like you supposed to be there, it's got something to do with the Explorer Columbus. I just feel like that. I could be wrong. <laughs> That's just how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Morocco, Lafayette, Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana, Hungary, Hungary, mm -hmm. I feel like I got ties in Hungary, I don't know, I was on, I was on some Mother Teresa shit too, there to go that Tanisha, 
So do you so? Do so? Iraq. Iraq. Honduras. Honduras. Las Vegas. What goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. Oh boy. I'm going to pull another bunch and then I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, do your due diligence. It's 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 it's, it's exhilarating. <laughs> to say the least. That's, that's the best I can give you. Because sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes it's eye opening. Sometimes it takes your breath away. Sometimes it pisses you off to the highest level of positivity. So I just use the word exhilarating. Okay. You really got to know that you know that you know. And don't second guess and don't be doing all that stupid shit. Where is that? Where did that go? Hold on, y'all, because that was a little fishy. They love to try to do stuff, so it ain't nothing but clarity on it. Really, do you something to you if I can't find this particular thing and just too lot. Ain't this fucked up? <laughs> this is the truth of the mess here, sunny baby. If I find it, I'm going to post it. Y'all know that. Don't you worry about a third. Inshallah. Yeah, it flew somewhere. And I'm going to find it at the right time, Uncle Bob. Don't be laughing because you know how they do. Don't we? Ooh, they did something else, honey. These entities and these gens, honey. Let me show you something. Pull a fast one on your motherfucking ass in a minute. I'm a fancy. Don't y'all worry. Don't y'all worry. Inshallah, it's going to work out just the way it's supposed to. The alchemical way it is. Basquiat the whole time. In their museum. Uh, that figure, I don't know where that figure at, honey. But I loved it so much. Japan. Work of art for real. Like, like is this like a little gnome? Did it, like, is this a real thing? Or did they really make this? It was that detailed, y'all. Ghana. That's, that's some Japan or Ghana, huh? New Orleans. Israel. I heard some people are supposed to be in Paris. That's in Israel. Ain't there some shit? Probably the RIS, yeah. Or the IRS. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. How you get, honey, listen. Ooh. You got the P A R. You got the R A. You got the R I. You got the S. You got the I. Yeah. Iris. Irie. Iris. Ari. Some people name it be Ari. Paris. Some of y'all in Israel are supposed to be in Paris. That is crazy. And the word Paris sticking out. Y'all twin, if y'all don't know who y'all twin is and y'all in Israel, y'all twin fuck around and be in Paris. And y'all supposed to be in Paris and not in Israel. No lie. That's, yeah, I'm so sorry if that's your story. Oof. Venezuela. Look at that. I said that it came up together. Puerto Rico. Heck, you know, North Korea, North Korea, Yemen. What are you supposed to be in Yemen? Like, what? Yemen, Berlin, Berlin. Some people may have, some people may have fucked around and said if they from supposed to be in Berlin. If they was around during the Berlin Wall or something, and they hear and Trump was talking about the wall, that would be a trigger for a person like that, and they wouldn't even know why. 
Like, why? what is the big deal? It's just a wall. Kind of shit. But if they was there during that kind of situation, hell yeah, it'd be triggered. Especially if you figure you coming all the way over here trying to get away from it and don't even know this, what, that's what you did or that's why you're not there. If it was your point of origin. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking, baby. Get into it, honey. China. China. <laughs> China. Madagascar. Either got made, something made a scar, something happened to somebody in Madagascar, and you got a scar from it, it made a scar, show me y'all, I don't know, something happened to somebody in Madagascar that left a scar, could be left a scar, like invisible scar, or an actual scar, like birthmark. All right, y'all. We're going to do this again. It's heavy, however, prayerfully, give some people a sense of direction and where you're going and what you should be looking at. Yeah, some people was on a stock market. Like, some people put people in jail so that you could get on a stock market. It would be the same as somebody selling you out to slavery. That's how you got separated. It was modern. Like modern slavery. Mm, not the transatlantic. Uh-uh. Modern slavery. Like prison. Modern day. Stock market shit. Mm-hmm. Could have been coming off of slavery or, you know, somewhere in the early 1900s, late 1800s or something like that. Ooh, that just moved. Yeah, somebody hard. Ooh, honey, let me tell y'all. Don't get me started in here. Do your homework all the time. No days off. Okay? Doing some kidnapping for ransom. Stupid ass shit taking children from the library. Two people lost their children. Let's see what's children. Children is library. Within the vehicle. At a shopping mall. Or at a grocery store. The hustle and bustle. Bustling hub. Slavery. Supermarket. Fucking school mandates. Parking lot, supermarket, or parking lot mall. Or, um, either, yeah, somebody's in a car. Sitting in a car. In a parking lot. In a supermarket. Or at a mall, children taken, separated from their original parents and family. Some library, some mandated school, got them from school. Being held up for ransom, stupid shit. Slavery, bustling hubs, shopping mall, parking lots, where else? Swimming pool at the hotel. For some reason, oh, this too was connected to children. Somebody died on um, either getting a C section or having a labor in labor in delivery. Um, this has something to do with now. Taking them to cabins. Weird, man. Weird. It, this is a, you know, it's like, may have given them some shrooms or something. Yeah, children. Yes. And they could be going through this because the, the fire is so low. 
loss, love, grief, memories of heart. Just loss. Just, just all. Just these motherfuckers all over the place with it. That's what I picked up with that cabin. There's some children right here, right now. Far away, getaways, and all that weird shit. I'm here in Vegas. You know, where it's freak, freaky at. motherfuckers. Woo! When I tell you things that make you say ill. So keep track of y'all children. Make sure that your your children not no pirates just jumping in bad blood kind of situation. This is real shit. Because we're going back to the original honey. And it's really crazy. I, I got to still dig into this, y'all. And then I'm going to go. I ask the law, like, are some people incapable of holding the position as a twin? Because one twin cleans up karma or, you know, works out their soul salvation while the other one doesn't. Like, what happens in those cases? Is the twin just dissolved of because they weren't able to... You know, like, was it trickery from the conception of it? Or did they just fall from grace? And if that's the case, what happens to the twin that did it? You know, so I'm going to, y'all already know the downloads be coming. So I'll share whatever it is, inshallah, if Allah allows me to, whatever comes across my radar so that y'all can have more direction instead of just aimlessly walking through life on some back, back, forth, and forth shit because they fucking with y'all Akashic Records and give you, some people are just being here, done that, already know what's going on kind of situation. And then some people forget and they literally take the good parts and they give you the South noise, the Sharons, all the shit to learn lessons and then take Things dealing with Venus, Jupiter, the sun, the stars, even the moon. Just take it and, you know, ball out, doppelganger it. And they did. Take your birth chart, be around your mama, see your birth tag. You see? Dirty man. Dirty rights for dirty bitches. Love and light.